Welcome to another episode of Post Shave, where we bring together all that's been happening in Shave the Man across Facebook, G+, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and of course, VoiceBite, which is a very exciting app that you should download, and I'll put a link to it below. Well, without further ado, let's get on with the questions. Anybody else use aftershave on non-shave days? I think it feels great after a regular old face wash. Non-shave days, they exist. Well, the answer to this question for me is absolutely. Now, during the cooler months, I apply an aftershave balm on my face daily, regardless of whether I have shaved or not. I've been thinking about this. Aftershave in many ways is actually a misnomer. It is excellent and wonderful for after your shave, but it's equally as good for when you're not shaving or when you haven't had a shave. I would recommend you use it because of the moisturizing properties that particularly balms contain, but also some aftershaves. Some aftershaves contain glycerin and they contain alum and all sorts of other wonderful ingredients which are good for your skin. So I don't miss a day where I use an aftershave or an aftershave balm. Um, so yeah, just use it, do it. Use aftershave daily. Should one clean their razor on a daily basis? Is a quick rinse under the water enough? Or should you take apart the razor and carefully clean it after each shave? There seems to be many different opinions about this. There most certainly are different opinions about this and I guess it depends on all sorts of things. Firstly, um, I'll just go through what I do. I give my razor a quick rinse after I've shaved. If I've shaved with a cream and not a soap, I generally like to loosen the razor a little bit and get a bit more water in between uh, the head and the razor blade. If I've shaved with a soap, I find that it's not as necessary. That's the first thing. The other thing I like to do, if I am going to pull the razor apart, is to give the blade a nice little wipe, like so. Use a towel to get in there and get in between the grooves and the thread of the razor head. And then just let it sit and air dry. So every time I change the blade, I usually go over the razor with a toothbrush and give it a good working over. About once every four to five weeks though, I use an ultrasonic cleaner and just submerge all the parts, once they've been all unscrewed and separated, in the ultrasonic cleaner and allow it to go through its cycle. In fact, I've done a video on this and I'll put a link to it below. Well, this episode's product spotlight is actually a book, a book that I'm really enjoying at the moment, Icons of Men's Style by Josh Sims. This is a wonderful reference. Apart from the uh, quite interesting photography, we have uh, an explanation, I guess, of men's style. Now, I use the word style quite deliberately because many commentators, far more qualified than myself, have said that women are into fashion, men are into style. And that's something that I'm not going to touch. I'm not that stupid. Anyhow, if you get a chance, Beg, borrow, or steal this book. It's wonderful. It goes through all sorts of things like the pea jacket. It explains where brogues came from, boat shoes, uh, you know, the dinner suit, the, the evening jacket, the trouser, all sorts of things. I found it very, very enjoyable. It's a wonderful book. Check it out. Well, this episode's shave of the day goes to Shane Fuller, our man, not in Havana, but our man in Hawaii. Shane's shave of the day pictures are so picturesque and postcard-like. I love them. There always seems to be quite vibrant colors that come through, and whether he does this deliberately or not, I don't know, but I always enjoy Shane's little offerings. Thanks for that, Shane. And remember that if you're going to put pictures up, make sure you hashtag SOTD and hashtag post shave and it helps us sort through all the questions, all the pictures, and all the goodness that people share with us in the Shave the Man community. 
Subscribe, join the groups, get involved, get into the social media side of things and share. That's what it's all about. We'll see you in the next episode.